friends welcome back to my channel techno education academy in this video lecture uh, we will derive the equation for heat conduction through hollow sphere let's start consider a hollow sphere made of material having constant thermal conductivity okay here we are considering thermal conductivity is constant throughout the heat transfer let r1 and r2 it is the inner and outer radius of the hollow sphere. Here you can see that from the origin of the hollow sphere R1. Okay, it is the radius of the hollow sphere. And R2, it is the outer radius. R1 is inner radius of the hollow sphere and R2 is outer radius of hollow sphere. Let T1 and T2, it is the temperature of inner and outer surface of the hollow sphere. Okay, this is T1 and this is T2. It is the temperature of inner and outer surface of the hollow sphere respectively. And uh, we have already discussed K is thermal conductivity. Here we are considering K is uniform or constant throughout the heat transfer. Consider a small element of thickness dr at any radius r. Okay, here we are considering a small strip. Okay, at uh, radius r from the origin of the hollow sphere and its thickness is dr. Uh, here you can see that it is highlighted with uh, orange color circle. Area through which heat is transferred, as we know that area of the uh, sphere is 4 pi r square. And uh, according to the Fourier law for the conduction, Okay, according to the Fourier law of heat transfer for the conduction, Q equal to minus K dt by dx, where Q is the heat transfer, K is the thermal conductivity, A is the surface area which is perpendicular to the direction of heat flow and dt by dx, it is called temperature gradient or we can say it is the ratio of temperature difference divided by thickness. So, here the area of the sphere is 4 pi r square. So, put the value of area. Here we are considering thickness is dr. So, in this equation, we are considering dr instead of dx and uh, we are considering area 4 pi r square instead of a. Continue from a previous equation, rearranging and integrate the above equation. Okay, we are getting. Okay, we integrate this equation both this side, left hand side and right hand side. So, uh, here, the variable is dr and uh, dt, okay, temperature difference. So, here we are considering uh, uniform heat transfer. So, Q is keep it outside of the integration and uh, this dr term, it is multiplied with Q. Here we cross multiply with each other for simplification. So, the integration of 1 upon r square. Okay, whenever we uh, cross multiply with each other, so the r term it is in left hand side and the remaining term dt term it is on right hand side. So, here r square on right hand side, so whenever it is multiply with q, so it is in denominator of q. So, 1 upon r square into dr. Here uh, 4 pi k it is a constant term, so it is keep it outside of the integration. And uh, here the limit is T1 to T2, temperature vary from T1 to T2 and radius we are considering R1 to R2. So, we are taking the limit uh, for radius R1 to R2 and temperature T1 to T2. So, as we know that 1 upon R square it is equal to R raise to minus 2. So, further we simplified this equation. 1 upon r square equal to r raise to minus 2, remaining term is uh, remain as it is. So, we know that according to the rule of integration, okay, x raise to n, integration of x raise to n equal to x raise to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So, r raise to minus 2, integration is r raise to minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 and the limit is, upper limit is r2 and lower limit is r1 and uh, this term is constant and uh, dt it is differentiation and this is integration so it is cancel out and uh, the temperature upper limit and lower limit is t2 and t1.
Further, we simplified this equation whenever we apply the limit, upper limit and lower limit. So, here minus term is common. Here you can see that minus 2 plus 1. So, minus 1. So, this term is total. So, this term it will become minus. So, it is keep it outside minus sign. So, minus q. Whenever we apply the upper limit, here r is to minus 2. So, we can also write down 1 upon r square. So, whenever we apply the upper limit, so 1 upon r2 and uh, apply the lower limit 1 upon r1. Minus 4 pi k. And uh, whenever we apply the upper limit, p2 and p1. Further, we simplified this equation. So, whenever we rearrange this term cross multiply with each other. So, uh, r1 minus r2 divided by r1 r2. Okay, whenever we keep it uh, outside minus sign from this bracket. So, it is further rearranged r2 minus r1. So, this minus minus term will become plus term. So, q into r2 minus r1 divided by r1 r2 equal to uh, t2 minus t1. Uh, from this bracket, uh, we keep it outside minus sign. So, instead of t2 minus t1, we can write down t1 minus t2. So, minus minus plus. So, 4 pi k t1 minus t2. So, further we simplified this equation. Now, we will make the object q. It transfer uh, through the uh, hollow sphere q equal to. Uh, this r1, r2 term, it is multiplied with right hand side term 4 pi k t1 minus t2. So, q equal to. 4 pi k r1 r2 in bracket t1 minus t2. This uh, bracket term r2 minus r1 it is in denominator of right hand side term r2 minus r1. So, we know that the numerator is denominator of denominator. Okay, So, we can also write down this equation q equal to t1 minus t2 divided by r2 minus r1. Okay, This is uh, the term 4 pi k r1 r2 it is in numerator. So, we can also write down uh, in mathematical form, it is in denominator of denominator. Okay, so R2 minus R1 divided by 4 pi k R1 R2 because our objective is derive the equation of resistance. Okay, so you can also calculate the separate resistance for hollow sphere. R thermal resistance equal to R2 by R1 upon uh, uh, 4 pi k R1 R2. Okay, this is the thermal resistance of conduction for hollow sphere. If you have not subscribed this channel, then please subscribe this channel for more video updates and notification. So, thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos, then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends.